Hi, this is Corey, and here's a Navisworks training video. Navisworks is a pretty simple tool, um, quite powerful, but really there's not a whole lot of layers of depth to it. That said, it can be pretty overwhelming when you first get into it if you don't have a brief idea of how to navigate. So, the first thing, if you've never opened up Navisworks before, what you need to do is load a workspace. Um, because out of the box, Navisworks doesn't have all of its default windows showing up, and that's very important for most users. So the way you do this is to navigate to your view ribbon and load a workspace called Navisworks Standard. So once you do that, it drops down to this screen, and then it will open back up uh, to your Navisworks window. And now you can see that you have your Clash Detective on the left, over on the right you have your properties tab and your selection tree. I actually like to keep my own uh, workspace because I don't like Navisworks' out of the box uh, quick access toolbar. So I'm actually going to load the Cori setup. If you have your own setup feel free to name it your name try to keep the jokes to a minimum while I'm waiting for the loading screen to come up. So, yeah, like I said, I like to keep my quick access toolbar a little bit different. The next thing that you need to do is go to the options. And you can do that by going to the file button or the application button options or hitting F12 on your keyboard. And that opens up your options editor. So, there's a few things that we need to check. One, here's your autosave location. Uh, and then going to our display units, we need to make sure that you have feet and inch fractions, not yards, feet and inches fractions, otherwise every measurement that you take will be in yards first. Not real helpful. Um, and then I usually do uh, degree precision down to the two decimal places and fractional display precision to one sixteenth. You have the option to go a lot more detailed than that, but I really question people when they are uh, measuring down to the 256 the Navis works because um, y you just have to question if that's the best use of your time. Usually I'd say 16th is about as good as you can expect to get. The other set of options that I usually go to is in uh, model NWC. I always go to the wrong place. I always model performance and on unload you want to make sure you're checking the box for close NWC and WD files on load. So finally I'm going to talk a little bit about window management. Uh, window management uh, is very important in Navisworks because if you go up to the, your view menu you click on windows here's all the different windows that uh, we use and that we have access to in Navisworks and many things, the only place you can find them is in their specified window. So, for instance, if I have my find items window, if I left click and drag that, it's going to move around the screen on me. And I can get it back docked into place by hovering over these buttons on the screen. So if I hover over this button, it would dock to the top half of the screen. This is going to be inside of this window in the top half of it. Uh, so I actually want to just keep it in the lower half of the, or my main window because that's going to allow these other columns to go full height. Um, and then, So the other thing that we can do is we have access to these little pins. So I, t I typically like to keep everything pinned down. Uh, I'll show you what the difference is. It's actually called auto hide. So if I check the pin for properties, properties will only show up when I hover over it. And I typically like to just keep everything always open. So properties, save viewpoints, plan view, sets, uh, these are all good things. And so if I wanted to show my Clash Detective, for instance, I'd go up to Windows and can go to Clash Detective. And like most software, there's multiple places to get to it. So I can also find or hide that Clash Detective by going to my home ribbon. But all of this content and how to actually use it is going to follow in subsequent videos. So thanks for watching and hope you can continue.